We have got an awesome episode today for you guys. Welcome back to Rare Oakleys. As you can see from the title, we're going to be checking out a very famous Oakley watch that many of you probably have, most of you love, the Time Tank, aka Minute Machine. This is one of Oakley's most iconic watches. Today we're going to take a look at the packaging and maybe even a few differences. Before we do that, make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet. If you enjoy the video, hit that thumbs up, give us a like, and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you never miss a future episode. Speaking of episodes, be sure to check out our other videos because we have a ton of great content, most of which are Oakley videos, but occasionally we're going to throw in a little tidbit in there for you to spice things up and give us a little bit of a variety. So check out our other videos and also be sure to check out this, my awesome book. The softest cushion to fall back on is one filled with hard cash. I'm gonna leave a couple of links down below in the description so you can grab your copy. If you do have a chance to read this, you will absolutely love the book. So don't forget to check it out. So the Time Tank, I remember when it first came out, very expensive, it was $1,200. But I remember receiving, actually when I first saw it, it was a mailer, Oakley sent, and I couldn't believe just, just how cool the watch looked. It was really iconic. Zoom in a little bit, come on in a little bit. And so I ended up getting one, full titanium case. I don't know if it was a year or two after the release of the Time Tank, but the watch proved to be so popular that they actually raised the price from $1,200 to $1,500. Some of you probably remember that. Well, today we're gonna look at one of the original boxes because they changed the box a little bit after, I think the first year or two. Unfortunately, I did not get the second box. It has the gears on top. This one has just the standard Oakley medallion, but the other one has the Oakley medallion that has the gears and it looks really cool. This one still looks cool as well, but this is how it come, uh, how it came, I should say, and standard black box, push button here that opens it or releases the cover, right? And here's the presentation. So this happens to be the silver or the titanium band with the silver face time tank. It's got the Oakley logo on the inside. And if we take this out, this watch here, by the way, has never been worn, never been sized, never been tried on. You can see it's got the Oakley logo here on the inside. And let's check out a couple of details here, shall we? So one thing that most of you are gonna be familiar with is the links to replace these if you want, or if you want to remove the links or even remove the band and replace the band, they have little hexagons. You can use a hex wrench to do that, which is pretty cool. So it's pretty easy to change the band or to remove links to size it to your size. Like I said, this one still has the plastic on it. You can see the plastic is on there. I'm not going to remove that though, but uh, yeah, the plastic is still attached. I pulled the crown out here so that it would not wear out the battery. Although, yep, you can see when I started it up, the second hand is moving here. Let's zoom in on that just so we can see that a little bit. You can zoom in. So this thing is still operative. As you can see, the second hand is going. But again, I pulled out the crown so that it doesn't wear out the battery. And of course, it's got the chronograph, etc. The back here, this still has the, the plastic on the clasp. You can see the plastic is on there. Here's something interesting that a lot of people don't realize. On the back of the casing, right? You can see we got the plastic here, but on the back of the casing, see if we can zoom in on this a little bit. There we go, and focus on that. So on the back of the casing, there's a sticker here. You can see this red line, right? You see this red line? What this represents is a lot of people don't realize if someone was to wear the watch, if someone was to wear this watch and try to return it, well then Oakley typically would know that red line would actually fade out. So from the heat from your wrist, it actually removes that red line over a short period of time. So that's how you can usually tell whether or not the watch has been worn. A lot of people don't realize that. But here's something interesting I think I think these have two different uh, faces on them. I may be, uh, or maybe not. You know what? I think these have the same. I'm sorry. 
Let's zoom in on there. They changed the face of the Time Tanker Minute Machine after a couple of years of production. They changed it slightly, and it had to do with this logo at the bottom here, in the bottom right. But you know what? I think these are actually the same. So this, of course, is my daily wearer, but this is my display piece that has never, like I said, never been worn, never been sized, etc. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned a little bit. If you did, again, hit that thumbs up, give us a like. Make sure you subscribe, hit that bell icon. We will see you next time on Rare Oak.